Okay, Pat has a problem with his connection. So we will start. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so what will happen? I don't know if you well wait, 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 let me share my screen. It feels like I'm in a Brazilian TV show. <laughs> they do I, this. I have copied <laughs> this from a Brazilian TV show, yes. <laughs> Esports <laughs> Interativo. Yeah, I love it. I love Fania. Is her name? Oh, Tainá Espinosa, right? Yes, she is a Liverpool fan. Yeah, I think she worked, she worked in Grêmio. She's a Grêmio fan too. Okay, okay. And her dog's name is Klopp. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I like that program. program. It's called Mano a Mano. And they compare mm -hmm. teams from different eras, different countries. Yes, it's a nice program. And they have two analysts. And today we have two analysts with me today. Can you introduce yourself, Henrique? Where are you from? What team do you support? Yeah. Uh, uh, my name is Henrique. I live in Brazil, in Porto Alegre, in the south of Brazil. Uh, I am a Grêmio fan in Brazil and in Europe. I am a Liverpool supporter. I, I, I support Grêmio since I was born because of my family and Liverpool. I started following in 2005 and been an F, um, a fan since 2008 or 2009. Yeah, and I know so that's basically you know a lot of about Liverpool. You follow yeah, scouts. <laughs> you, you you have a lot of Liverpool vocabulary. You know more about Liverpool than me, I think. That's, I think that's impossible, but okay. <laughs> yeah, probably do. Uh, and Milena. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, well, my name is Milena. Uh, I'm from El Salvador. I'm 24 years old. And uh, well, my favorite soccer team is Bayern, as you know. Uh, here in El Salvador is Alianza. It's a great team, and I love watching football. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, I sometimes see your social media. You sometimes post about Bayern Munich. And yes, it's an amazing team. <laughs> yeah, they are an amazing team. So I would today we would like to compare the Bayern Munich Championship starting eleven, who won the Champions League versus the Liverpool 2019 Champions League starting 11. So both teams were really successful. As you said before, Bayern Munich have won, I think, five trophies and possibly the Club World Cup is, is going to take place, I think, early next year. Liverpool in 2019, they was just missed out on the Premier League but won the Champions League. So we will compare them. If you disagree, and you disagree on which player is better, I will have the deciding vote. <laughs> and I am a Liverpool fan, but I try to be objective. I do try to be objective and fair. Okay. okay. So. so let's start with the goalkeepers. <laughs> and let's start with you, Enrique. Uh, uh, let me just ask something. Uh, we're doing by the uh, career overall or just the season? It's because I would like to do this more often. I think just this season, just this 2020 right. Manuel Neuer, 2019 Alisson. So not the career, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, I think... I think uh, I, I am going to with Alisson because uh, in 2019, I think Liverpool wouldn't have won the Champions League if it wasn't for him. He he he, he made a great save against Napoli to to set through the knockout stage uh, to, um, in the I think the 91 92 minutes of the match. Yeah, and uh, he was really uh, I think he was our most important player that season. And although Neuer is uh, a phenomenal keeper, I think uh, I, I, I rec recognize his, his how important he is 
prime during this 2020 season, but I think that they had more important players than him to lift the trophies they did. So I'm going with Alisson for that reason. Alisson was good in the final as well, I remember. Yeah. Okay, how about you, Milena? Uh, well, uh, I, you're right, Alisson is, is a good player and I think he made it uh, in last season because without him, Liverpool wouldn't have won the Champions League and he is a great player. Basically, he was in the two comebacks against Barcelona when he was in, in Rome, Rome and he is so amazing, I think. But in this case, I vote Neuer because basically Neuer from 2013 was so amazing and he showed he was, he is a worthy good keeper and he demonstrated everyone he is so good, he, how he, May how he helps his team his team to win every every game, and yeah, he is so strong. <laughs> okay, okay, this might happen a lot, so it passes to me. <laughs> no. That was a good answer, uh, Milena. I it's it, it in this case is a little bit difficult to choose one of them, but yeah, I I choose Neuer. I agree with you. It's very close between them. Alisson was amazing in the season that Liverpool won the Champions League, especially in the Champions League. But I am going to go for Neuer. I just think his presence in the final, he made good saves in the final too. And I think as Milena said, he really, he, tr <laughs> he does the best he can to make the team win from a goalkeeping position even encouraging the defenders and carrying the fight sometimes from a goalkeeper. So, yeah, I'm going to pick Manuel Neuer. So, let's start with you now, Milena. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, it's a difficult decision. And I think, well, both are good and both help their teams to win champions. Uh, but in this case, I would choose Kimmich because he demonstrated he is a worthy defend, defending and he's great. He's so great in uh, basically he makes his team to, to win every game. Oh yeah, I think he won the UEFA Defender of the Year. This year, I saw a short interview with him. Yes. Okay, Henrique, what do you think? Uh, I, I really love uh, Alexander Arnold, but in this one, I'm going with Kimi as well. Uh, I think uh, I think Arnold will be the best uh, right back in the world. In a, uh, he's the second right now behind Kimi. I think I, I, the, the reason why I say this is because I think Kimmich is a more complete player. Uh, I think Arnold still has, has, has some, some things to start out in defensive terms. He, he's a really good offensive player. He's fast. He's, he, he has, he's a good assister. Yeah. But I still think he lacks a bit on the defensive side. So, uh, and Kimmich has already proven he's a top defender and a top offensive player. So I think in an overall uh, overview, I think Kimmich is a, is a better player from, for now. Yeah, I would agree. I think Kimmich has the edge on Alexander-Arnold at the moment. So the next one, Matip versus Boateng. Uh, this is a tough one too. I think all of them are difficult. But um, I, this time I think I'm going with Joel Matip because uh, I loved Boateng when I was younger. I, uh, he was a, was a, one of my favorite center backs uh, back in 2012, 2013. But I, uh, since then, he has uh, been a bit sloppy. I think he has his uh, his level of performance have have been dropping. I think because of his age too. Mm -hmm. 
And I, I don't know, I, 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 like, uh, I like the style of Matip better. I think he's a more versatile, versatile uh, player. He's fast, he's tall, he, he's strong too. And I think he did a great season in, in 18-19. Uh, I don't know, I just think he, in that season, he was a better player than, than Boateng. That's, I think. Okay. And Milena? Uh, well, uh... Just a thing, I don't want you to say I am choosing Bayern players just because it's my furry soccer team. Okay. <laughs> uh, basically, <laughs> that I think is Boateng because he contributed uh, by, for Bayern to win those trophies. And basically, he's an amazing player. Uh, I have seen the player from 2013. And he, yeah, he it's uh, one of the best uh, players in in defending. And now he, yeah, he makes a lot of a lot of things for Bayern uh, to avoid they concede concede a lot of goals. Uh, yeah. Basically, yeah, I quote what tank. Yeah, Matip is so good, but. In this year, in this season, Boateng showed that he it's a it's a great player. He is so amazing and all awesome. Yeah. Yes, he is. I, I think, and he's a good athlete. He's fast. He's strong. But I so it comes to me. <laughs> I think I'm going to go for Matip, and I agree with Enrique. I think Matip was. For not, it was really good in that in that season. I think they have both both of these players have lost their places now. I think Boateng has lost his place to Sule and Matip. I think Gomez is ahead of Matip. But in that season, Matip was really good and important for Liverpool. He was good in the final. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to pick Matip for this one. Alaba, or David Alaba and Virgil van Dijk? Uh, well, uh, I like both, but in, the, in this case, I will choose van, De, van Dijk okay. because uh, he's a great player and I like the way he's playing. So uh, he's a good player and he contributed for Liverpool to yeah. win the Champions last season. He did, yeah, I think so. Good, okay. And you, Henrique? Uh, I think Alaba is a, a phenomenal player, but uh, it's unfair to any player in the world to be compared with Van Dijk. I think he's the best centre-back in the world uh, by, by a mile, I think. Mm -hmm. And he, he sorted all the Liverpool problems that we had during the last decade. We had really bad defense. We, we 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 had a great great offensive great attack and but we always considered a lot of stupid goals that cost us points and and uh, no uh, and then titles of course but I think for me it's it's Van Dijk on this one uh, there is no other player in the world who is as good as him is uh, in his position and for me is I think it's 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 clear on this one. Yeah, okay, Van Dijk, maybe Alaba is better at free kicks and has a better left foot, but Van Dijk is a, is a better defender. Okay, a tough one now, Alfonso Davies and Andrew Robertson. Um, Enrique. Okay. Uh, I'm going with Alfonso Davies on this one. Okay. Uh, because uh, although, uh, as much as I love Robertson, I think he's an excellent left back. I think he's more of a squad player. I, I don't know if that's an English expression, but in Brazil we have, we use like, when a player is only good when he plays on that, that tactic, you know? Uh -huh. yeah. A squad he, player means something else in English. It means like, yeah. you're not a starting yeah. player. Yeah. I think if he played like for Arsenal or Manchester United or some other team, he, would, he wouldn't be as good as he is in Liverpool. That's my view of him. Yeah, I think his I think his best quality for Liverpool is his character and his passion and yeah. his connection with the fans. He is a good player, lots of energy. 
but yes, I think I see what you mean. Yeah. I I love him. I think he's uh, one of the top left backs in the world. But uh, uh, so, but I'm I'm ha I have to pick Davis because he's what he has done with his age. It's 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 out of this world. It it has no definition to what he did. So I um, uh, I think he I think he wins he wins that one, but. Uh, Robertson, it's a it's a close call between in 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 this case, but I'm I'm going with Alfonso Davis. Okay, nice. Okay, Melena. Yeah, I am. I agree with him because I think Davis is a good player and he's so fast. He he showed uh, his skills in on the pitch, mm -hmm. and against Barcelona was uh, was the best player. I could see how he uh, made a lot, a lot of nutmegs, and he is so amazing. <laughs> he, he did is... lots of nutmegs, did he? I, I... Yeah, <laughs> uh, I remember Semero was one of them. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he destroyed him, didn't he, for the goal? Yes. Yeah, he did. He destroyed <laughs> Barcelona. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did. Uh, yeah. Uh, Robertson it's a good player too, but in this case I choose Davis because Davis had a, a great season and he has a great season now. Yeah, I think he's similar to Van Dyke in that he's he's athletically superior. <laughs> yeah. People, I, I, so he can just relax and like give people two meters and then suddenly he's there. Okay, yeah, uh, he would be a great uh, mate with Van Dyke. Yeah, imagine, yeah. Next one is Fabinho versus Thiago, holding midfielder position. They play it slightly differently, but I think it's the correct match in these two lineups. And Milena? Okay, uh, well, I, I choose Thiago because Thiago, it's a great midfielder. Fielder and I, I can say Liverpool have have a great luck to sign Thiago because, uh, yeah, we feel he, lucky. Yes. Yeah, and basically he he has other skills and I I would have liked to see him uh, in Bayern more years but yeah he chose Liverpool and yeah I I think he he will contribute for Liverpool. Yeah, hopefully, yes. Okay, that's... okay. and Henrique? Uh, I'm picking Thiago too, uh, but uh, because I, I I like Fabio a lot. I think he's a, a great player. I I, I yeah. And in Brazil, I think he should be starting for the for the national team. Mm. Uh, my my opinion, I think he's ahead of Casemiro. Yeah. He's just as good for me. I think he's in, 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 uh, better than Casemiro. Uh -huh. But in this case, uh, I think Thiago is the, the right choice here because he is uh, uh, more complete. Let me put it that way. He, he uh, I, He's not as physical as Fabinho, but he is uh, he's a... a, a, a I, I don't have even words to describe how much I like Thiago. <laughs> I think he's... <laughs> Uh, a maestro, let me put it that way. A maestro, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, he, he's, yeah, he's an expert at what he does. Um, so do you think Thiago should start ahead of Fabinho should, or should play that holding midfielder role in Liverpool's formation ahead of Fabinho? I think they should play, the two of them should play together. They, okay. Yeah, Fabinho, Thiago and Henderson, it, it would be my midfield. Okay, no Wijnaldum, no Keita. No, I think uh, Keita. If we, if we play uh, team, teams from the lower tier, tiers, but I think uh, against big, big, the big six clubs, I think that would be my midfield. Yeah, it's a strong midfield: Thiago, Fabinho, and Henderson. I think. Okay, so Thiago wins this one. Yeah, but his dad is Brazilian. He won the World Cup with us. Yeah, Mazinho. I remember Mazinho. No. And you can, I yeah. remember the USA 94, was it? <laughs> <laughs> and the blue kit. Okay. Okay, so Thiago wins that one. Let's move on to the next one. 
Henderson and Leon Goretzka. Have you seen the arms on Leon Goretzka? Mm. He's He's very muscular, yes. Okay, so let's start with you, Henrique. Uh, I can't go, I can't, cannot pick uh, other player than Jordan Henderson on this one. <laughs> Uh, the, the captain, he, he I think I, I uh, the, the way he played on our season was huge, huge. Uh, I don't know if you you said you you have have you seen the Robertson book about the Premier League? The things he said about Henderson, it's I amazing. I've seen a bit of it, not not I haven't read it. Yeah, he was really influential influential to the the spirit of the team to. Yeah. Uh, uh, after winning the Champions League and losing the Premier League in the way that we 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 lost, um, uh, it was it was not a, an easy task to motivate the team like he did, and we on top and, and made a 90, 90 points on, se uh, on a, a season that we had made ninety eight a year ago. Yeah. So the way he played to to motivate to inspire the players, uh, I think he. He, he's just a player that has more influence on the team than the Goretzka, who is, uh, of course, an amazing player. But I think Henderson is a, uh, more than just a good player. He is a, a, a leader on the team. So I'm picking. Okay, nice. Okay. Elena? Uh, yeah, I choose Goretzka because he had a great season and basically mm -hmm. he, as, an, as you mentioned, he has muscles. <laughs> <laughs> he has bigger muscles than Henderson. Okay, okay. Um, basically, he it's a good player. I have seen Bayern's matches, and basically, he do it. For, he does does it pretty well. Yeah, I think he's very important for Bayern too. I think both midfields in these two teams require the midfielders to run a lot. The midfielders need to run and cover so much ground. Yes. So is it up to me? <laughs> yes. I, I like Goretzka. I do. I really like him. I think he's a Liverpool type of player as well. I think he would, he would be a good midfielder for Liverpool. He gets up and down. He's strong. He's powerful. He can score goals. But <laughs> I'm going for Henderson. I think, as Enrique said, his, his leadership was so important for Liverpool in that season. So I think he edges it because of his leadership and his performances. He put in some really good performances also against some top teams in the run-up to that final. So, yes, I think Henderson. Yes, yeah, so now... Bayern Munich 4, Liverpool 3. Let's move on to the next one. So, it's Gini Wijnaldum versus Thomas Muller. And I think these two teams have slightly different lineups or different formations. I think Bayern Munich kind of play the 4-2-3-1. Muller is more attacking them than Wijnaldum. And so, but I think it's the closest match in the two lineups. So, Milena. Mm, okay, uh, well, I think both are good, uh, but in this case, I choose Mueller because uh, he he was one of the one of the players who contributed for Bayern's success, and he made well. When I see Bayern matches, I could see how he. He makes he, his team to to move very fast and to get the goal. Yeah, yeah. He never stops running. Both players, yeah. both players don't stop running. But Muller does like the runs behind the defenses. Yeah, so much. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Enrique. 
I think this is the case of two underrated players. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, uh, uh, I think some, some Liverpool fans underestimate the importance of Gini Wijnaldum on our mid. Jürgen Klopp doesn't. He always starts, usually. Well, luckily, he's the manager. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, I, I see, uh, uh, off topic a bit, but I, I, see, I saw some Liverpool fans, I don't know if they really are Liverpool fans, but uh, uh, saying some bad things about Reynaldo, mean that he was sold to Barcelona, that made me a bit sad, because he is an important player. I think he's really under, underrated yeah. on this team. He would be a big miss for Liverpool, yes. Yeah, a big miss, a big miss. Uh, and I, and I, I, as from the Bayern fans, I don't know if they underrate Miller, but I, I see a lot of football fans underrate him, saying that he is not that good. But yeah. completely the, otherwise, I, Miller is one of my favorite players in the world from I don't know how many years. He is just... So good. He he's a, a, a quiet player that you know, I don't I, I think he you think he's not there, but then suddenly boom he just scores and yeah. scores and scores and he doesn't stop scoring. And he likes yeah. setting people up, Muller, as well, yeah. I think. He's very unselfish. Yeah. So uh, with that said, uh, I think they are both underrated players, but I'm going with Miller because he think he's uh, in, in overall, I think he's a better player than Van Alton, but they are both good, good players, and they are underrated. But that's my opinion. I agree with you. Yes, both underrated. Both have great running power and strength. I think Van Alton is maybe a stronger player, but Muller is a better runner. And yeah, I, I agree with you. So another one for Bayern. Five three to Bayern. Now, Sadio Mane versus Kingsley Coman. Uh, that one, to be honest, it's easy for me. I'm going with Mane. I think uh, Coman is a good player, but he is not at the same level as Sadio Mane is. Uh, Mane is probably the, if not, well, if not the best, he's one of the best wingers in the world right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, and Coman, I don't think he's at that level yet. He yeah. might someday, but he's not there yet. Uh, so, uh, Mane had, had a big influence since he joined Liverpool. He, he, he changed the, the, the status of the club to a point so that uh, he's really important. So, I think I'm going with, with him. Okay. Okay. And Milena? Uh, yeah, I like both uh, how they play, but in this case, I choose Mane because, as he mentioned, uh, Mane is the be one of the best wingers in the world right now, and I like how he scored scored that goal against Bayern in, in 2019 mm -hmm. when they faced uh, when they Liverpool when Liverpool knocked them out not them out, uh, basically. He was one of the best players in Liverpool mm -hmm. and he contributed to, to make Liverpool, to, to make Liverpool get that champions. Yeah, he did. Coleman scored the winning goal. What was it, the winning goal or the first yeah, goal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He the did final. the winning goal in the final. Yeah. And he is so amazing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I could say, Coman was ex PSG player. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, and he was one of the best players. But yeah, I choose Mane because Mane is so fast and he makes his team to he makes his team get that goal. He does. And he's so uh, intelligent when he play. Well, both are intelligent. But I think Mane is, is one of the best now. Okay, okay. Thank you, Milena. Okay, yes, I agree with you. So Sadio Mane wins that one. So 5-4 to Bayern. And now Roberto Firmino and Robert <laughs> Lewandowski. Um, Milena. Uh, okay, uh, in this case, well, I love 
both, but uh, I think Le Lewandowski is one of the best players not now, and I choose him because uh, he showed uh, his skills, his abilities with the ball, and he's so great. And basically, he's the star of Bayern, and Bayern without Lewandowski, I don't know what would would happen with them. Yeah, uh, yeah, good point. Okay, Enrique? I think uh, Lewandowski too, that's my choice. But um, I think in terms of striker, because Lewandowski is now the best striker in the world, he's the best number nine in the world. Mm -hmm. But uh, Firmino, he, he's a... He's so important to the Liverpool system that I cannot even put it that, put in words how important he is. He made he made everyone around him place be better. Yeah. Uh, Again, he, he is underrated, and I don't think yeah you realize what he is doing when you watch the football matches. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 sometimes I when when some someone says to me that Firmino is not that good, I say just watch a game and just pay attention on what he does on the pitch. Just see how he moves, how uh, how he passes, how he opens the space for other players. He is just uh, just he's one of the smartest players I have ever seen on the pitch. Yeah. But in terms of scoring and strikers, who is the which is the case? I think Lewandowski is. I don't. Yeah, uh, I, I agree with you both. Yes, Lewandowski takes this one, I think. Okay, so move on to the next one. Salah versus Gnabry. And Enrique, what do you think? It's a tough one. For me, it's Salah. Uh, it's, uh, I think Salah is... Uh, <laughs> I, I know that uh, uh, a lot of a lot of people criticizes him saying that he is, he sometimes can be a bit selfish on the pitch uh, tr always trying to score to get that golden boots and not passing it at the ball around but i, I sometimes i think again he it's a bit of an underrated player too yeah. uh, uh, i don't know I, I i have seen some people criticize him for things that for me doesn't make any sense but mm -hmm. Um, I think he is from now. Uh, he he also the, the same case as Sadio Mane. He's one of the best wingers in the world. I think he in the left wing uh, in the right wing. Sorry, I think he now he's only behind to Messi. I think for a bit for a few seasons now. Yeah, uh, but uh, in this season he scored twenty two goals and like. Had over ten assists, I think, in the twenty yeah, nineteen. His numbers are his numbers are incredible. I think he has ninety eight goals for Liverpool in one hundred one hundred and forty appearances, something like that. Uh, uh, he's phenomenal. But Gnabry is a top player as well. He in this Champions League he played incredibly. Uh, he was one of the most most important players for Bayern, mm -hmm. but. I Salah is slightly better than Gnabry, mm -hmm. uh, doing to what it, um, due to what he has done in the past seasons. So I, I'm with this one. I'm going Salah, who is uh, <laughs> I don't hide it, but he is one of my favorite players in the world too. Okay, okay, nice. Okay, Milena, what do you think? Yeah, I think it's Salah because Salah it's a good player for Liverpool and yeah, as he mentioned before, he's a little bit selfish. Everyone say or says Salah doesn't like to pass the ball and he wants to score by himself. Uh, yeah, I have seen Liverpool, some Liverpool matches and I could say uh, he's a little bit uh ambitious because he wanted to he wants to score a goal by his his himself sorry and mm -hmm. yeah he is so fast he is so um amazing when he plays a uh, how he controls the ball and the passes that he may makes but uh, it's it's salah in this case never is so good too because uh 
he demonstrates his abilities, but in this case, I choose, choose Salah because Salah contributes for Liverpool success. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, I think I agree with you, yes. I think Gnabry is, is really good, so clinical. In front of goal, I think Gnabry is probably better than Salah as a finisher, but Salah, his strength and how he's, his pace, he, he scares teams so much. And if Liverpool don't have Salah, Liverpool are a totally different team. I think if Bayern Munich don't have Gnabry, they would be okay. Okay, so 6-5, that's the starting 11, but now we will move on to the coach. And let's start with you, uh, Milena. Klopp, Jürgen Klopp versus Hansi, is that his name? Hansi Flick. Yeah, it's Hansi Flick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, both are good and both have, have demonstrated they are good uh, coach for coaches for both team, teams. And yeah, they make make their teams to win and to have those success. Uh, basically, they have positive mindset and I could realize that they motivate them and they are so good. It, it's a difficult decision here. Yeah. Uh, Flick ha in his first season ha had a good um, success with Bayern mm -hmm. um, after Kovac because I thought uh, he would he will win the the league and the cup as as usual mm -hmm. but I don't I didn't think he would reach the the champions the champions and but Kovac. I was <laughs> yeah because Kovac but be not for for bad because I think Bayern is a great team, but some players are so old. Mm -hmm. And I could say they didn't make any signs uh, recently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have heard they are, about, they are about to make some signs, but I don't know what is, uh, what is the correct uh, word that I, I would like to say, but in this case, yeah, both are good mm -hmm. because club makes Liverpool to win those trophies, the Champions League, the Super Cup and the World Cup. And he, and Liverpool was a was in were in a difficult situation the mm -hmm. after I don't remember the name of their last Brendan coach. Rogers. Ah, Brendan Roger Rogers. Mm -hmm. And basically, they were in a difficult situation because uh, their team was a little bit bad. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, with co-op, Liverpool have improved a lot. Yeah. Uh, well, in this case, I would choose Flick because okay. he made Bayern to win those trophies, five trophies in a year. And they were... Uh, they are about to win the sixth one. Yeah, probably, maybe. <laughs> okay, Enrique, how about you? Uh, I, I'm picking cop on this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I see uh, when I see club managing, I see myself with I was a manager. The way he 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 he, he, he cheers with the fans, the way he runs to the fans, mm -hmm. the way he celebrates, the way it, it's like I celebrate in real life, and that's the way I would do it if I was a manager too. <laughs> and I, I Flick is a, a a lovely manager. He was assistant to. The I, I forgot the name of the German national coach, but he, he was, no, oh, uh, no, low something like that. I don't remember low, yeah. the, the old name, yeah, but no, it's yeah. low. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah, he was his assistant until 2014, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. He went to, uh, uh, I don't know if he went to Bayern, Bayern straight after that, but he was Nuno Kovac's assistant, right? I, I think, I don't know. Yeah. And 
he's a top manager to do the things he 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 has done in just a year to win the Champions League, to win the Bundesliga, to win the, the Pokal, uh, five trophies in a year. It's it's huge, but I I prefer Klopp because I think he he has been around as a manager for for a long time. Uh, Managing itself, not as an, as an assistant. He managed Mainz and then Borussia Dortmund, and he won the Bundesliga. Uh, <laughs> to win the Bundesliga with with a team who is not bad, and it's a, a really really tough job. Yeah. And to transform Liverpool the, the way he did, I think he you you. I don't know. I I just have no words to describe how I like this man. I I think he. Uh, He's one of my favorite coaches ever. I think he is my favorite coach ever. I I uh, I, I like his style. This the the the, the style that the, his teams play, mm -hmm. the way he deals with the press, the day he the way he deals with the players, with the fans. I just love everything about him. So I'm picking Jurgen Klopp on this one. Okay. Okay. Nice. So it comes to me. I think both are really good managers. They both play attractive football as you said and I, I really both German <laughs> both confident both a little bit eccentric they have that German confidence that German a little bit um, a little bit strange not strange a little bit eccentric they're confident in their own skin they're very comfortable in their own skin and I think this rubs off we say I think this passes to the team and play people feel confident around them they are relaxed and they both play good football. I remember seeing Bayern Munich versus Tottenham and at, um, at yeah, away. They at, have and, and, a, yes, and they, they hammered they them, a, didn't they? They have a great rival in the Bundesliga. Mm -hmm. They had a, a great rival in how club won, once wanted to wanted to win over Bayern. Yeah, that was a massive um, rivalry, wasn't it? And against Guardiola. And Guardiola as well, yes, yes. Uh, we were talking about that before you, we, before you came on. We think that Pep Guardiola will leave England because Klopp is here and he cannot beat him. <laughs> but going back to Flick, yes, so I, I think... He's really good, but he has a really good team. And I remember seeing Bayern Munich play Tottenham Hotspur and they beat them 7-1. Coutinho played. It was in the Champions League. 7-2, sorry. Yeah. And yeah, I thought, wow, what a team. What I put money on them to win the Champions League after that match. And, um, and that was Kovac, though. That wasn't Flick. That was Nico Kovac, still the manager. So I yeah, think uh, basically uh, with Nico Kovac, they won seven two in yeah. that match, and yeah. how they can how they could lose against Frankfurt five one after <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> wow, wow! So yeah, that was the nail in the coffin. And that Go made ahead. and that made uh, Kovac got sat. Yeah. Uh, okay. So. Yeah, and then Flick has come in and they don't, they have won every game. They had some amazing record where they won every match, I think, if you include the Super Cup, even though the Super Cup went to extra time. Um, yes, but Klopp, yes, as Enrique says, I have a lot of love for Klopp. I think he came in to an underperforming team. He transformed them and... He built he, a new Liverpool. He did. He, he is Liverpool, really. He is Liverpool. Again, like, something what I said before, I think if Klopp leaves Liverpool, it will have a bigger effect than if Flick leaves Bayern Munich. So, yeah, I'm going to pick Klopp. So it's a draw after all that. <laughs> after all that, it's a draw. And, yeah, I don't have... I could talk about substitutes, <laughs> Divock Origi versus Perisic maybe, but no, let's just keep it like that. 6-6, six, six, it's nice. So I'm just going to do 
Yeah, I think it's an amazing team. Okay, so yeah, this is the we final. Have to the, we have to choose the name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> Liverpool Munich. No, Liver Munich. Uh, okay. Bayerpool. And what would be their, their, their crest? Sorry. Uh, the, their crest. Ah, the crest, yes. A live a bird with a Bavarian background. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the bird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two live birds, like the Germany um, eagle, eagle, is it on a German thing? Okay, so yeah, we have the final lineup. We have Noya in goal, Kimmich at right back, Matip and Van Dijk are the centre back pairing, Davies at left back, Thiago as the holding midfielder, Henderson in midfield with him, Muller pushing forward. Mane on the left wing, Lewandowski as the striker, Salah as the right winger, and Klopp up front. Thank you so much. That was really good, I think. Yeah, thank you for doing this. Um, I appreciate it. Oh